Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my YouTube movie. Today we're going to look at lighting. Don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, it really helps me if you subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified. This week I had webinars talking about lighting, so I covered them in detail. I took about an hour to cover all the lights, but I'd like to show you just quickly the different types of lighting that we've got. We've got a lighting tool here. If we have a look on the toolbar, you'll notice there are four distinct modes. There's the directional light, the point light, the spotlight, and the custom light. Now the custom light you can only use if you've got industry information that will make the distribution light or the distribution file to make that light. So I'm just going to ignore that one. We've got our preferences here so we can cover what kind of preferences we're going to use. Is it using soft shadows, emitter, and the spotlight specifications and so on. So we can actually a spotlight can be changed and we can adjust the beam and the spread. I'm not going to use emitters, I'm just going to use the brightness. Okay, so first of all, lights. The lights will appear on the visualization palette. Now I've got several here that I've placed. First of all, we've got a directional light. Now you notice that when I choose the directional light, my scene re-renders, and I'm just using a quick rendering, a quick custom render works. You can see the directional lights coming in from outside. Now the problem I've got with the directional light is I don't know how this relates to north, the azimuth and the elevation, or to the time of the day, or to the day of the year. There's another tool that we can use called the Heliodon tool. That's this one just here. The Heliodon tool will place a directional light in your file. And if you select this directional light, let's go select on document. There's my Heliodon. I can look at the settings so I can choose a city. Here I can choose a country first. Then I can choose a city. Um, I can also add my own cities if I want to. It does allow me to put in the time of the day, allows me to create the or choose the day of the year. I can choose solstice if I want to, which is winter solstice. So I should get a long shadow coming in or I can choose summer solstice, which for me is December. And you can see the shadows are much shorter because the sun's much higher in the sky. I can also choose the time of the day, three o'clock in the afternoon, for example, the sun will move around. Uh, let's choose June again. Uh, let's have a look. Let's choose that one. So I was hoping I'd get a little bit of light in, but it's probably gone around so far that it's no longer coming into my building. So it does give us quite a lot of control. So that's enough of that one. There's a point light source. Now a point light source is like a single light bulb in the middle of the room, and it's just shining light absolutely everywhere. Very harsh light, not very subtle. And we also have the opportunity to have what's known as distance fall off. So let's just select that right click, select on document. Here I've got realistic fall off. Let's choose none. And you can see it's just so bright because the light tends to fall off as it moves away from the object. It's actually that moves, it decreases by the square of the distance known as the inverse square law. So the further away you get, the less light you get. So that's the point light. I've also created a spotlight here. And you can see the spotlight. There it is. It's a really nice, bright, focused light. Let's select that on our document as well. And when we select that, we can control the spread. You notice how soft it is on the edges. If I bring that in really tight, it gets really hard on the edges. I can also control how bright the center is and so on. So it's quite a kind of a cool tool. We can focus someone's attention on something in the building. So those are the main light sources. There's another light source we can create called an area light. So the roof is on a class, so let's just turn that class off. Now I want to draw in here. I want to draw on the floor. I'm just going to draw on the floor. There it is. I've just drawn on the floor. That object is going to become an area light. So I'm going to go modify, convert, and convert to area light. And it's got a fill. That's good. There it is. There's my area light. I'm going to move it in 3D so it sits around about six feet up in the air, around two meters. And you might notice it's also pretty close on one side. And I should probably double click on that and just bring that in a bit. It should really be brought in from each side of the building. So it's just in the middle. Okay, so let's exit that. 
and let's go back to our camera so I'm going to go back to a top plan view turn my roof back on let's turn on my roof double click on my camera I must remember to deactivate the camera afterwards and then let's go to render work style exterior quick night so this is my object here I'm going to say to Vectorworks do not render the geometry let's just turn that off and you can see just in here in the corners there are patches of light for that so let's make the 5000 lumens and you can see it's adding a, a nice glow so why don't we just turn off the spotlight and we'll just see the effect of that area light and so it's creating kind of a soft light all over everything let's make it 10,000 lumens and now it's starting to light the entire room so it creates this sort of general soft light over everything which is really pretty cool so I'm going to put an area light around one of these windows so that tool automatic working plane so from here down to there that's my object let's go modify convert to area light and okay and I'll just turn off the render geometry so we don't see it and let's turn off the main area light which I think was that one there and you can see what I've got now is I've got some little patchy areas going around my area light now you can see it's a bit brighter you can also see it's casting a light just up here on the ceiling and just down here on the floor and what I tend to do with that area light is to move it down away from the window just slightly let's go back to my camera and deactivate my camera again and now you can see it's creating light around there so I need to move it further away from the window but you can see what I like is this little patch of light that comes in which really helps it to look like a window combine that with my heliodon and let's make whatever my heliodon was it should have been visible select on document let's make it 12 and it's in December which is my sun summer so let's make it June should get a good light coming in and so the combination of these two the area light and this light really helps to um, light up my building so those are the main types of lights there's also another one called a line light which is similar to an area light you draw a line and you make that object into a light so what other light sources have we got let's turn off that one and we'll delete that one that's there oh I deleted the window instead okay so what I'm going to do right click select on document now I can delete it select on document let's delete that one as well and hopefully I haven't moved my camera too much okay so double click on my camera and there's my view so there's one other sort of light it's actually not a light but there's a texture that we can use so if I draw a rectangle and I go to my resource manager and I've already created in my garden demo a texture render works texture so I'm going to extrude this object first just extrude it by a small amount half an inch maybe it needs a texture just here so I need to give it a texture that will appear so let's just give this our render work style to start with see what it looks like there it is there what I need to do is to import a texture now I've got a texture called white where's it gone white glow right click import import that into my current file and here let's assign that with my untitled to white glow now you'll notice that I've got a glowing area on my object and it is creating light in the ceiling and in the floor so it just glows which is really cool instead of an area light I quite often use this glow texture so I hide it underneath things so if I need something like a light going under a bar or under a kitchen cupboard cabinet I'll use a small rectangle I'll extrude it and I'll make it glow so it actually lights up part of the area so let's have a look I've got a garden demo here which has got a lot of lights in it let's have a look so we've got a 
uh, a daylight so we'll turn that one off and then we'll see nothing and we've got some wall lights inside symbols so these two wall lights they go up and down so you can see them there lighting up and if I improve my texture or improve my render work style I should say so let's go to my render work style where have we got render work styles there's one called quick exterior night let's edit that one and what I'll do is I'll improve the quality so the custom I'll make the curved geometry the same I'll make this very high of the anti-aliasing lighting four bounces uh, hardly any ambient lighting I've got ambient uh, occlusion turned on okay and you'll see there's a improvement in the quality of the lights or the quality of the lights going up and down those columns so those are lights those are spotlights in fact inside a symbol so when I turn one of these on it turns them on in all of my symbols now you'll notice improving the quality of the anti-aliasing has substantially slowed down my rendering but it's much nicer so in this particular file I've got a lamp inside my Tizio you can see it there it's just turned up on the table I've got a spotlight over the sculpture I've got an area light inside my object in here so what I'd like to do is I'd like to put a light underneath my table so what I'm going to do is double click on this let's go to a wireframe view I'm going to have a look I just need to put a light underneath my table so I'm going to hide everything else I don't want to see anything I want to put a rectangle under here let's find this area here let's put a rectangle we'll extrude that by just a small amount we'll assign a texture to this one where's my glow texture there it is there let's exit my object there and let's activate my camera so let's activate my camera just don't forget to deactivate it now let's render it so let's go render work style quick exterior night now it should take a little bit longer to render but we should see a bit of a pool of light appearing under my table and so you can see it already the idea of lighting isn't to replicate exactly the lights you would use in a scene the idea is to tell a story use area lights to help fill in areas use spotlights to fill in areas you can turn lights on and off using the visualization palette you can also turn their shadows on and off so although you can turn a light on you can tell Vectorworks not to cast shadows with that light so that's an introduction to lighting as I said I went through this today it took me over an hour to go through it with my webinar with my subscribers if you want to see the entire one hour movie you'll have to become a subscriber but it's great value for money check out my website www.artroncad.com